Ladies and gentlemen, I have the key, my precious, from Green Bay, Wisconsin, I think Anderson should get a key for that microphone to his room. <laughs> that covers it, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. Well, we have issues, grudges, differences in TNA. But Taz, to me, doesn't get any more personal than this situation that has been brewing for months between Mr. Anderson and Kurt Angle. Oh, yeah, definitely a pressure cooker, to say the least. I think Kurt Angle wants nothing, wants nothing more than to get Anderson, in this cage, trapped. But the key is, and I use that, there's a pun there, the key is to use that key to get out of this, uh, out of this cage, and Anderson has the key, obviously, around his neck. He kissed that, too. His opponent is from Pittsburgh. Pennsylvania, he is professional wrestling's only Olympic gold medalist. He is I think you'll agree with me when Mr. Anderson spit in the face of Angle. It wasn't only Kurt that he was spitting in the face of, but he was sending a message, as he did with the Warrior Medal, to all of our U.S. military troops, and it was a message of total disrespect. Well, I had the opportunity to have a conversation earlier today with Kurt Angle, and I'm telling you right now, he is prepared for this match. He is all business. Uh, he's definitely in the zone. It was a quick conversation, but I could tell through those ice cold eyes of Kurt Angle that he's not playing games tonight. Well, it's locked up right there. See, it looks like uh, I guess Anderson's gonna I believe he has the key around his neck. Uh, you know, he's gonna wrestle this match with the key on his neck, I guess. That looks to be the plan for Mr. Anderson. And yes, he has the key to escape the cage after defeating Kurt in the ladder match on Impact. And that is the stipulation for this particular match at Lockdown. Victorious when you walk out the cage door to win it. Yeah, real simple deal here. And Kurt Angle, oh, wow, he's got his leg chopped out from underneath him. And look, not ready, right? Anderson. Why not? There's the <laughs> opening, but does he have Angle beat down sufficiently? No, he that doesn't. Is, that's no. our answer, as Kurt is right back up to his feet. And not only prevents Anderson from opening the padlock and escaping the cage, but it, it put Angle in control for, well, a small amount of time. And look at this. Yeah, well, that got that chain, uh, not a huge chain, but that chain wrapped around Wow, the fist of, uh, of Mr. Anderson. Very similar to what we saw with the Warrior Medal that he's used on Kurt in the past as a weapon. Uses the chain, the key, whoa, the whoa, head, whoa, whoa. and going back for the padlock. Ah. Oh! When you, when you turn your back and go for the yeah, padlock, no, you leave your oh, wide open for a move yeah. like that. Listen, man, you don't turn your back if you can. Help it, I should say, and a 13-time world champion and a world-class athlete to the level of an Olympic gold medalist like Kurt Angle. I want to keep an eye on him while you're trying to open up that lock there. 
It's almost as if Angle and Anderson have two totally divergent oh, oh, oh. ideas that when it comes to this. That's, that's, did you see that? Yeah. That's the key is, is in the padlock, correct? Well, yes, it is. And uh, now there's the opportunity is there. Kurt, you think, he you think Kurt, I, I think Kurt, does he realize that? I see well, him looking uh, over at the padlock. Oh, Michael, I'm not certain he does. Michael, unless he has a vision problem, I think he realizes he's looking right at it. Trigger before the show now. <laughs> oh, snap <laughs> suplex by Angle. Talking about the differences between the two. The idea for Anderson, simply to escape the cage and win. As far as Kurt goes, he loves having the cage match against Anderson so that it confines him. It prevents Anderson from running. Smart move by Anderson using the side of the cage as a weapon, elevating Kurt up, and he went shoulder first right into the steel. Yeah, when you have uh, neck issues to the level of Kurt Angle, surgically repaired neck, that uh, being driven shoulder first. Oh, now Kurt. Wow, wow, oh my God. That's ah. a little graphic right there. It's the violence you can expect at lockdown when you put every match in the steel oh, cage. God. This is bound to happen at some point, and Anderson senses that that this is a weakness in angle and he drives repeated shots to the head. Yeah, and I don't think uh, Anderson is any, there's no sign in him slowing down. And... This is where, you know, if, if you're Mr. Anderson, he's gonna bask in his glory. He's gonna, he's gonna eat this up. Definitely has no, e he's got a huge ego, I should say. <laughs> close-up camera shot showing not only the blood streaming out of the head of Kurt Angle, but also the bad-mouthing that Anderson was oh, doing. Oh, God, did you hear that? Oh, oh my geez. God. Oh. That's very, that's just, oh, man, that's, and you can't get much more graphic and violent than that. that. Microphone on the ringside camera picking up the sound as the, the head of Kurt Angle was being driven into the side of the steel cage. Kurt's almost defenseless. Yeah, he is defenseless, I should say. And definitely Kurt's health is in jeopardy. And Anderson, uh... Well, Kurt tried to... Ooh, counter! But Anderson had an answer for that. Didn't go face first into the boot and instead drops the elbow oh across God, the look chest. At Kurt's skull is just wide open. Kurt's in a grave situation here. Anderson snaps off the leg drop. Heads over to the cage door. And now he wants to get up. Oh, wait. Kurt, Kurt Cost, able to get up yeah. and stop him? Cost himself again as Angle miraculously was back up to his feet. And while Anderson's attention was turned to the door, let's see if Kurt could turn it around. Did so momentarily, but then oh, pays the price. God. Good Lord, Kurt Angle's blood is all over Anderson's body on the, the canvas of the ring. Look at that, good man, jeez. It's a barbaric situation here. And Anderson, he's not done. Waiting for Angle to get to his feet. Pounces on him immediately. Looks like a pile driver oh, attempt oh. that's instead countered and reversed into a back body drop. I mean, Anderson's trying to dish out more punishment. He should have just got out of here. And it looks like Kurt's gonna get out of the cage. Oof! Angle with full speed and momentum of coming off the ropes. Drives the elbow into the back of Kurt. And I'm not sure it sounded like Kurt, again, continued forward and went well, into the well, side the chain, of the cage again, as you see the key in the padlock. Yeah, the chain popped off, obviously, of the key. The key is still in that lock. It looked like Mr. Anderson's head was busted open as well, I think. That could be. Wow. Maybe that, the top of his head. You can see the blood dripping down from the top of Anderson's head. Yeah. Angles in Anderson's sights. And he's not satisfied. And he's taking a long time here. He's not satisfied with the middle rope. He better be careful. See, that's what I'm saying. Goes to the top. Let's see if it costs him. Oh, yeah. It costs him, all right. Big time belly to belly suplex off the top rope. Kurt Angle. Can he capitalize? Remember, not about pin or submission. It's about walking out the cage door to win it. And when you think about taking away the pin or submission element in this match, 
Does it help Mr. Anderson? Because Kurt is not able to win by using the ankle lock. Yeah, no, I definitely think it helps Mr. Anderson, but Mr. Anderson's so damn cocky. He had Kurt beaten up, bloodied, and battered. He could have got out of this, this cage and, and win this thing, but he, you know, he wanted to you know, beat up on Kurt more. Anderson's got something in mind. The tape from around his wrist is unraveling it. Able to bite it off, and now got that tape that's wrapped right around the throat, and he's just choking the life out of Kurt Angle. It's all legal right here. I mean, just like most of our matches tonight in this career shortening steel cage, and the whole theme of this pay per view is violence. And that mouthpiece was just spit out by Kurt Angle because you couldn't breathe. Got the legs now, grapevined around the body of Angle. So he's not only cutting off the air around the oh throat of Kurt, but the tight hands, he's also cutting off the air oh. with, with the legs wrapped around the waist. The Kurt's, scissors hold. Kurt's got to try and get a finger or something between that tape to stop him from getting choked out. And that tape that wrestlers wear on their wrists is extremely strong. It holds look, joints look, together and it, it's choking him out. Look at, look, at the, look at Kurt's face here. Look at the reactions. The There's no reactions from Kurt. Referee might want to think about stopping this match. And look at Angle, he's, he's fighting through it. Damn able, guys are able to break that vice grip of the leg scissors. Gets up to a knee and he's feeding off the crowd here in St. Louis. There is no quit in Angle, let's face it. The man is loaded with intestinal fortitude. His training is with that duck under to that back suplex. A quick underarm spin that was into that back suplex, still using the basics of wrestling, his amateur style, but Kurt is in a bad way here. It was a bad landing for Mr. Anderson off the suplex, but at the same time, how long is it going to take Kurt to regroup here and try and get his wind and try and get his air back? Well, that's a good question. I mean, Kurt is just in tremendous condition from a cardiovascular standpoint, but the man was choked out in a bad way. And both men are trying to get to a vertical base. Great crowd here in St. Louis at lockdown, oh, watching this incredibly physical and violent match between Mr. Anderson and Kurt Angle. Now with both men on their knees, they're battling in the middle of the ring. The exchange, and now both men up to the vertical base. Crowd reacting with each oh, strike. Wow. And Kurt oh, had the momentum man. coming off the ropes behind that right. You see Kurt's face, his eyes, he about decapitated. Anderson with that first clothesline was sickening. Then the running clothesline. Angle follows by shooting him off and then elevating him up and over with the back body. Oh, is Ant Anderson able to get the leg and the boots up as Kurt charged in? Uh-oh, uh-oh. But Kurt answers with the released belly-to-belly -belly overhead. Kind of looked like Anderson got trapped there, got shot out of a cannon, and I look at Kurt Angle's face, his eyes. Angle slam, oh, nice counter. Float over by Anderson, avoids the angle slam, and then he rolls through with the momentum in the headbutt. Went for the pin, well, it was just that natural yeah, well, reaction. Yeah, it's just instinctually, you go for a pin cover after you hit one of your big moves. Then Anderson, he didn't, uh-oh, wait, wait. Go Mike for... check time, Mike check time. Well scouted by Angle, series of elbows stops the attempt. Whoa! No stopping that suplex, caught him with one German. Grip's still there for the yeah. Olympic gold medalist. And we've talked about that tight grip, the amazing finger and hand and wrist strength that Kurt Angle has from all those years as an amateur wrestler. And watch how Kurt pops his hips and lowers his level on that third back suplex, that German suplex. Kurt still there with the grip after three, not satisfied with the hat trick. Look at that. Beautiful pitch, a perfect throw right there. And as, as you can see, with the impact of each suplex, the life is being taken out of Mr. Anderson. Oh, yeah. And what, what Kurt's doing, he's actually, Kurt's getting his conditioning back. He's getting his breath back with that sick grip as he's got that reverse gut wrench on. Anderson, he's actually regrouping, Mike. I'm telling you, I've been in the ring with the man. I know it.
just Kurt being able to reel off this series of German suplexes after having the life choke out of him minutes ago by Mr. Anderson is simply amazing. And we're at five, and he's still got the grip, Taz. Well, we might go to 20 innings on these suplexes. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Anderson will laugh him, but he's not. See, Anderson's trying to break the grip, but to no avail. You're going again, buddy. The six-pack is the exclamation point. Has Anderson been weakened sufficiently? Uh, I think so. For Kurt to open the cage door. Kurt's out. Kurt's gonna win this thing. He can leave anytime he wants. Kurt looks at the padlock, looks at the cage, what, what, what? looks at the cage door. What is he doing? He could have left. But instead, he pulls down the straps. And there's the ankle lock. You can't win the match this way, but well, maybe you can, Taz. Well, I don't because think... if you wear down Anderson sufficiently with the ankle lock, he's not gonna be able to stop Kurt from going out the door. Oh, free leg by Anderson. Well, that was good because there was signs that, <laughs> that Kurt was gonna try to. Watch out, watch out. Oh! God, he hit with the mic check out of nowhere. Out of desperate, desperation, but it worked. Good timing right there for Mr. Anderson. Excellent counter. An amazing recovery by Anderson. He's not up yet, but he's about to leave, it looks like. The padlock That's has it. been opened. Look at Kurt, though. He opens the door, but Kurt's Whoa. right behind him. Explosive angle slam. Doors wide open. What the? What's Kurt doing here? What is <laughs> he could have just left and won this thing. Judging by the reactions of Kurt Angle, he's not satisfied with the beatdown on Mr. Anderson to this point in the match. And now, well, it looks like Kurt Angle is trapping, trapping Anderson in this ring. Kurt's got the key. Look at that. Kurt throws the key into the crowd here in St. Louis. Now there's no escape. Oh, man. It's Anderson's trapped here like an animal. The look on the face of Anderson tells the entire story. Well, it's still alive from a very good friend of mine. It's a good thing that Anderson's wearing black tights. <laughs> what a visual that is. The shot over the shoulder of Anderson as we see the close-up look at the face of Kurt Angle. <laughs> Anderson's just trying to get out of here. And I don't blame him. Look at Anderson. Hey! I don't think he was trying to get into a fight with Kurt. I think he was just trying to slow Kurt down so he could climb out. Anderson looking to escape. You can't win the match that way, but he, he just wants to avoid more of a beating from Kurt. But shot after shot to the head of Angle. And that open wound that Kurt has. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look out. You're going to kill Kurt. Kurt. Don't Got do Kurt. it. Look out, Kurt. Anderson with the elbows right into the face, but Angle won't give up the grip. Well, he, oh no! He knocked the snot out of him. Look at his face. Couldn't describe it better. Got to see this one again, guys. Please, in the truck, cue up the replay. Here it is. But that's off the top of the middle rope. A German suplex. Let me tell you, I've done a few suplexes in my day. I've never done nothing like that or, or thought of anything like that. That was sick. Kurt, I think you did the damage, man. Get out of the cage and win the match. This is awesome. 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 What's some ball? here in St. Louis. <laughs> this is awesome, though. I think they've just about had it with Mr. Anderson, too, and all of the disrespect that he's had to Kurt and our military troops. Now what? Well, Kurt Angle has a moonsault in his arsenal. 
I don't think he really needs to do it, but I think he's good. Kurt. Oh, no, Kurt. 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 Come on, Kurt. Oh, my God. Okay. See nothing like that in my life. That's all I'm gonna tell you. That's the most go. amazing move. Look at this. Look at this. This Taz. Good God. I, I never. I'll tell you. Now this is not an overstatement. Oh my God. What a shot that is. That is just. Oh, that's that's insane, man. Spectacular Look. shot. Guys in the truck. That was that was insane. Kurt Angle. One of the most insane moves in the history of TNA. Hell, in the history of professional wrestling. Kurt's got. I guess there's another key. Kurt's gonna, gonna walk out any time he wants. That was insane. Escape the cage door. Anderson with the double bird for Kurt Angle. Oh no. <laughs> Oh my God, what is Anderson out of his mind? Oh! Did he catch him? Oh, look out! What's the oh. God! Kurt had the chance to go out the door. I mean, you can understand with, with Anderson's reactions. Well, listen, that Kurt listen. would want to go back, but. Let's look. Hey, look, bottom line, in my opinion, Anderson, he played a mental game here. Yeah. And if he's able to walk out of this cage, right. he won that mental game. You're right, Taz. Anderson crawling. His body right at the cage door. Kurt's trying to get over there. Kurt's trying to get him. Kurt's going to get his Does ankle. He him? He's got the ankle back. Oh, God. Ankle lock applied. And now he's going to drag him back out he's, to the middle. And if Kurt gets those legs in, Kurt will snap Anderson's ankle off, I'm telling you. It don't matter, look at the ref saying, you can tap all night, bro. And tap, and tap, and tap. Slick Johnson reminds Anderson, you win by going out the door. How about, how about the momentum of Anderson rolling through? And Kurt goes into the cage. Both these men Whenever this thing is over, we'll never be the same. I'm telling you. Mr. Anderson, Anderson can't even, again. He can't even stand up, Mike. He's trying to just sliver out. Yeah, slime like a, out of like here. Like a snake. And boy, is that appropriate. Anderson under the bottom. Look at Kurt. Look at Kurt. Get him, Kurt. What the hell is that? What's, what's Kurt? <laughs> Kurt's got something wrapped around his neck. It might be the chain, maybe that popped off the uh, key. Kind of poetic justice, Mike, what we saw in that ladder match when Kurt was trying to climb to the top to get the key for this match. And Anderson was choking Kurt out with the, ch the chain for the key. And as well as what we saw earlier with Mr. Anderson choking him. Oh, so it looks like the Warrior Medal, Mike. It is. How appropriate is that also, that he uses the Warrior Medal? Oh! And that is the payback that Kurt Angle's been waiting for, to spit in the face of oh. Mr. Anderson. And oh then there's the exclamation point. I really don't think you can get any match that's more graphic and physical than what we just witnessed. Both these men beating the holy crap out of each other out here. Kurt Angle proved why he's on a completely different level than everybody else in the world of this industry. Look at look this. Look at that, look at that. That sick attempt, the moonsault off the top of the cage. 
by Kurt Angle, you called it graphic. It was certainly physical, it was brutal, but you know what it was for Kurt Angle? Satisfaction. Well, big time redemption. First of all, I want to say how great you fans are here in St. Louis. God bless you. If you didn't already know, I'm gonna step back, take a little time off, kind of regroup. I'm gonna miss you guys while I'm gone. But when I come back, I only have one goal in mind, and that's winning the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. Oh, it's real! It's damn real!